Awful answers. Oh boy. It's loading. Load faster. I am the Emperor. For millennia have I stood in a cross light, carefully watching as the seed of what is to come has risen from its earthly barrows into the starless sky. Ooh. This seed, known as mankind, I have existed along from the time of my birth. I let the seed grow, I nurtured it, did my best to have it remain healthy and secure. Oh. But as it kept on growing, hey. I could not keep up. I could not. Can we, can we clear up here? What's the deal? Come with it, but could only watch from afar as its health deteriorated and vegetation grew bleak. As I entered into the realm of the half-life, the only thing I could experience was despair. My work that I had driven to construct for such a long time had been obliterated in but a mere moment. Mankind, my once pure seed, had fallen into the hands of sheep, corrosive and preposterous prudence. And at no other time has this been displayed as intensely as this very moment. <laughs> Because holy fucking shit, these <laughs> questions are the worst fucking shit I- <laughs> I knew it was gonna be like that. Okay, we are going to- Sorry, I'm trying to clean this up because I- Trying to- Why is it doing this? Internet also wants the button, yeah. Everything is like trying to stop. What am I watching in? Yeah, uh, just- I guess I'll set it to this? Oh, that's better. Thanks. All right. I, I knew he was going to say something. He's like, yeah, mankind sucks because these questions are horrible. Oh, gosh. I have ever read whatever became of mankind. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Now, my lord, let me remind you that you were the one who came up with this idea. <laughs> it is That's his your fault. fault because you have informed me well enough about how incredibly, <laughs> disgustingly fucking idiotic mankind has become. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be bad. I could feel it in my bones. I mean, I just thought you were a special case. Turns now, out everyone is so a special sad. case. Uh, <laughs> maybe you just misread or something. I mean, these questions couldn't have been that bad. Uh, no, they could have. Are supposed to make fun of them? Yeah, let me read some to you. Fuck it. Go ahead. Let me plow through these one more time <laughs> before I actually pass out and fall off this fucking chair. This is going to be right, me. Guaranteed. I see. guarantee it. This message is from one apt to deny we. Some poor local thing. <laughs> uh, he says. Uh, he says. Read it. Uh, coward, read it. Uh, uh, read it, coward. Why Kron loves ponies. <laughs> I have no mouth and I must scream. Alright, fuck it, next question. Oh this one is from one Joseph Lyons. He asks, Oh, mighty god emperor of mankind, were you to send your sentience to a new body to rule once more oh. and bring mankind back properly? Into the light that is your majesty. What would you demand as the first meal? Something really tasty, I bet. That's a good question. You get to ask one question. A question that could it's be an whatever even question, philosophical and but not good that for dwells this. inside the perplexing and winding wonders of the human mind that you could potentially come up with, and you ask about fucking food. Then again, I probably should not judge since the Imperium clearly is some kind of bureaucratic police state driven through ignorance and idiocy nowadays, so it is only natural for your regular RG world peasant to only ever think about food. Yeah. As for an actual answer to that question, Ooh. I'd probably go for some tacos. Yes, I love tacos! Next from one called, uh, Demon Primark? What Burn kind it. of asshole parents name their child <laughs> Demon Primark? Fucking seriously, it's like they want their child brutally lynched and burnt on a stake by the brainwashed masses. I mean, they're not okay, wrong. Fine, He's not right. wrong. Anyway, as for the question, Mighty Emperor, this is but a simple question I would have answered. Was there really a single guardsman who distracted Horus during your duel about his faction? Oh. The legends tell of a lot of oh. his pious doing some deed aboard that accursed vessel that assisted oh. the Horus. Oh. But is any of it true? Bruh! 
Oh my gosh. This is like years before they even wrote, like they finished the end and the death part three. It's a spoiler. Spoiler, people. Okay. Spoilers. Run away if you don't want a spoiler. <laughs> Hello to people. That is crazy. That actually, it's spoiler, 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 spoiler. Okay, go away if you don't want a spoiler. Okay. That happened. That really happened. He, good, good, good. Mute me. But not forever. Uh, but yeah, that happened, dude. That's, that's so cool. I mean, I'm sure it was already, like, rumored, which is why it's brought up, but, like, dang. He was a homie. Homie, homie, homie. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> okay, chat, tell the people they can come back. You have the lone guardsman. Yes. Ah! Very good. I was sad. He must be referring to that one regular old Imperial soldier that stepped in front of fucking horse when he was about to finish me off after he had yeah. used some dirty chaos contrivances <laughs> to hunt me down on the ground. Yep. For being a regular human, Batman had such titanic fucking he balls really that did. I want to clap my hands vigorously just thinking about it. <laughs> it is too bad that he was literally obliterated out yep. of existence by horse after making that selfless act. Yep. It's also too bad that I lack the hands to applaud him with. Typically Hello, from that, that point on, an Astartes Terminator and the Custodes did the exact same thing right after to prove that they were just as cool and selfless as that glorious bastard. <laughs> I mean, can't you immortal superhumans of death and destructions let the regular Joes have this one thing? Come on, man. Whoa, I'm not even getting into that one. It's not like I was the one who told Sam Tonys to throw himself in front of you oh. nothing but his loincloth to intimidate that Melanius guy. Anyway, next question. <laughs> This one is from someone who signed himself up as the Reds will rise again. That person sounds like a ketchup enthusiast. <laughs> he asks, my lord, can love bloom in a battlefield? 32 6 asks for your blessing oh, no. in his relationship with Toldia. Perhaps after you complete your webway, you will create peace among these um, two races. I doubt it. Ones that need to fight each other. I do hope this person realizes that the Eldar look at mankind like we would look at a primate. <laughs> To them, we are unevolved beasts, thinking in very simplistic thought patterns, way. and only using the most simple of tools. So, to put it short, this tall deer is basically an obese chowder, and is oh. a sick fuck that will get all kinds of nasty interspecies <laughs> STPs, and will most likely kill half her craft world because of it. Oh my god. So yes, you have my blessing. Wow, my lord. Most of probably retorted into bellowing about how absolutely downright heretical it would have been if you were given that question. And you know how I feel about that wow. now, don't you? I suppose so. It's not like I'm scared to death that every time you're upset over nothing. Oh, oh okay, sorry, my lord. I don't have any emotions. <laughs> anyway, next question. This one is from someone named Brent Keller. He asks, what happened to your left eye? This is actually something I don't even know myself, <laughs> and it still fucking infuriates me. Why do I only hit this visor on one of my eyes when both of them have obviously <laughs> rotted away millennia ago? Seriously, what is its purpose? I didn't even put it here. Actually, I kind of know the answer. Well, after we escorted you with all haste towards the Golden Throne after your battle with Horus, uh, Rogel Dawn accidentally managed to poke your eye out with his giant iron halo. Why was... You know, the whole sharp and pointy... Oh my god. shakily quiller and all. <laughs> I'm going to teach that boy a fucking lesson in how to not poke people's eyes out while wearing giant sharp arms when Bruh. I get off his throne. Uh, so like... <laughs> Rogel Dawn is dead. That isn't fucking stopping him. <laughs> Nothing stops the Emperor. Surprised. Anyway, next question is from Grey Knight 31. Oh boy, a message from the prodigies of the Silver Baby Carrier. He asks, <laughs> are you going to send Drago to rehab? Do needs help. Huh. I thought we'd already decreed that members of the Inquisition would all be rehabilitated. Did Oops. that galaxy-wide message not actually get to anyone? I bet they just Oops. neglect mail they consider bad Oops. like most feedback of phobic fucking snowflakes that exist in the galaxy. I'll have to rehash and create new means of getting the message across. One which cannot be negated by inquisitorial spam filters. Eh, uh, moving on. Next up are a couple of questions sent from some warriors that are on their way to a planet known as Arcona, apparently. 
first one is from Mark Mario. He asks, what is your favorite color? Yes. Isn't that fucking obvious? Gold. Second question from Marconia is from Vida Ra. He asks, <laughs> uh, what do you think of Miguel Carroll? I approve of him and his team, and he should continue to do what he is doing, because he's doing an excellent job. I don't know. Uh, I don't sorry, know that. Who's Miguel Carroll? Oh, this yeah. is fourth degree war prone fuckery. None of your concern. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Next question is from a chaplain known as Valerius. A chaplain, you say? Good. I assign chaplains to hold marines in line, and be as staunch and serious about their duties as possible. I have high expectations for this question. Oh asks, boy. Why can't we all just be friends and stop fighting? Because we cannot! How did this happen to me? <laughs> I made my mistakes. No. no we you're can't wrong. be friends. The night goes on as I'm fading away. I'm sick <laughs> of this lie. I just want to scream. How did this happen to me? Oh my gosh. You are being corrupted. Next question is, Dear Emperor, can you still poop? You gosh. Did one of the High Lords of Terra send that one? I'm a skeleton, so write about as much as you use your brain you fucking have with. <laughs> Next question. Dear Emperor, where will the universe leave the year 999 Lady of Water? Oh At my the gosh. end of the year, just oh. like every fucking year. Next. Dear Emperor, how do you fat? No! While no! Thoughts about your inevitable demise. Next. Dear Good. Emperor, what is the most fascinating thing you've ever seen? Probably the intricadenseness of this fucking question. <laughs> Next. Dear Emperor, have you ever gotten laid? Yeah, More he times has. than the entire fucking population <laughs> of your planet, you rattling. <laughs> yeah, he has. He, there's like children. He has children. Mm hmm. They exist. They exist. <laughs> oh my gosh. Penetrator. Next. Dear Emperor, was it family love that stopped you from striking down Loris, or did you have uh, sexually confused? What? I'm sorry, what? I am deeply disgusted by you and I hope you explode. Yes. In fact. <laughs> Disgusted, and I hope you explode. In fact, <laughs> lovely, lovely. Oh, that's wonderful. If I could do that, oh my gosh, you wouldn't be laughing as much, chat. If I could do that, oh my gosh. <laughs> So Actually, good. Uh, that, oh, um, my lord, it's starting to sound like you're actually answering these <laughs> questions now. I mean, the, no one's listening in, right? No, but in case someone is, I hope they feel fucking awful right about now. <laughs> uh, of course, nobody uh, could be listening. It's this Imperial Palace. Let me go again. <laughs> okay, well, moving on then. Alright, a uh, slightly better question, I think. This is one that is from uh, Lord Commissar Wolf, who says... Commissar Wolf. Oh, glorious Emperor, please share thy wisdom with your most loyal servants. Is there such a thing as an Athdaka? While I abhor the Xenos term, everyone seems to be talking about it and about how there will never be enough of it. What say you, my Emperor? At the point in time when bullets can pass through the interdimensional walls, when firepower takes off the entirety and eternity of space and time, all beings stuck in a never-ending life and death cycle as bullets recover and destroy their bodies in quick succession. No one able to think about anything but the sheer force of the bullets rapidly flying literally everywhere in the materium, turning the warp itself into nothing but a wow. semi-automatic weaponry. That's then scary. Then there will be enough deca. Oh, okay. Or at least almost. Oh. The orc word for rapid fire and multilaser masturbation. Oh. I didn't want to know that other one either. Okay. Pretty much everyone. Seriously, there is a giant mountain of messages dedicated to just this one question. Ooh, what is it? And it kind of disturbs me that so many have made it. What's the question? Dear Emperor, what is your opinion on the Tau? Never oh. heard of them. I think as much. So what are they? Uh, well, there's some minuscule Xenos race located on the eastern uh. of the galaxy. 
They're even less of a threat to us than the Dark Eldar, so it's not really worth talking about. Why would so many people send in messages about a minuscule Xeno race located on the eastern fringe they, uh, of the galaxy? They're but pining they for them. Threat? I've heard it's because despite being a small species, the Tau males are really overcompensating with their high-tech weaponry, and the Tau females have a tendency to lust for greater goods. I'm sorry. <laughs> Best Tao joke I think I will ever hear in my life. <laughs> that should be canon. I don't care if it's not. That should be canon. That is so hilarious. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so good. That, oh my gosh. I'm not even mad. I am not even mad. That is hilarious. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. That was so incredibly clever. I... Wow, Kitten. He's just killing it right there. Oh no, I'm so worried. I want to listen to this again. Even a threat. I've heard it's because despite being a small species, the Tau males are really overcompensating with their high-tech weaponry, and the Tau females have a tendency to lust for greater oh goods. My I'm sorry, what- I've heard it's because despite being such a small species, they have the most rapidly advancing <clears throat> technology in the galaxy, which also means they have really, really big scary guns. Yep. But you can usually snap one and it'll fall over really quickly. That's mm -hmm. what I thought, I think. Glass cannon. We'll talk more about this later. Still got more stupid questions to answer. Uh, yes, indeed. Like this one from Suki... Suika Ibuki. Probably from one of those fucking Tau planets. <laughs> who asks, Since your body can no longer function properly, how about mounting the golden throne inside the dragon? Oh, I like love that idea. Don't you think that if I actually had that choice, I would have that made would it already? That would be cool. I think you're not taking into account that the entirety of Terra will be swallowed by a giant warp rift and everyone will fucking die if either I or the Golden Throne would leave this place. That'd that be makes so cool. It not no, worth it, happen. but only barely. Now, next up is a question from someone who entitles himself as the Fresh Sorcerer. Ooh. What a fucking nerd. He says, At least he showers. Hey, shit, wants me and my brother to redo terrible shitty fanfics like the depraved, erogenous bedtime stories you and your centurion. This guy's always been a dream of his. And this is the year I promised to be nice to him. Actually, alright. Fuck it. I'm the motherfucking emperor. Send no. out some Terran escorts to wherever the fuck those no. guys are and pick them up so they can be converted into my personal bedtime story readers oh, that no. they are so insistent on doing. Oh, no. My centurion oh, hasn't no. been able to sleep that well for the last couple of days anyway. I feel this is a perfect <laughs> opportunity to continue my plans with the reformation of the Imperium by making some people actually Oh, Fresh Sorcerer is a friend of the channel? An excellent okay. Idea, my lord. I'm looking I'll forward to it. The shackles when we are done. Now, uh, the next up is a question from someone called Dr. White. He asks where his fire support is. Up his fucking nostrils. Next. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, this one is from someone apparently known as Johan Gasmask. He asks, Seeing as science clearly dictates that diversity is the most efficient way for life to exist, why are you trying to exterminate all other life except humanity? I am not trying to exterminate all other <laughs> life, but rather keep it under some form of control. Yeah. Xenos are often vile and untrustworthy, as they are out to maximize their own idea of peace and happiness yeah, it's in a the galaxy big competition. for their own separate species in their own individual ways. The human idea of peace and happiness is to have the galaxy taken over so life can thrive without wars, poverty, nor petty hatred, all living in a bright and tranquil future as was mankind's birthright. Compare that to the Eldar who want to take over uh, so they can engage in fuck oh, of no. unfiltered. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, again oh no. Getting into trouble. oh my gosh. Or the Necrons who want to take over for the purpose of <laughs> sucking the souls out of all living things and going back to sleep again. Or the Orcs who just want to fight forever and make nothing of their lives. And let's not even get into those fucking Tyranids who just nom, want nom, to nom, 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 and then move on to the next. I just let you know my lord, the tower kind of in that same castle. I would be okay with Xeno races living in harmony with us if they didn't have such fucked up goals in mind for our galaxy. Thus, without Xeno life exterminated or under regulation, this is not an efficient way for human lives to exist, as it will only get stabbed, sliced, chopped, and numbed to death. Nom nom nom. Love everything makes sense. Anyway, next we have Luna Templar. 
Dear Emperor, besides swiftly unfucking the current safety of Imperium, <laughs> which I figure would be a given, what's the first thing you would do where you would suddenly be restored to your former glory uh. and rise to the golden throne? Well, I have a pretty big to-do list, but as a start, I would do these things in this exact order. First, scratch my everything. <laughs> Second, roll around on the floor and spasm violently. <laughs> yep. Third, take a shower. Oh my gosh. Fourth, punch that everyone so good. in the face. And fifth, <laughs> tell everyone to never ever ask stupid fucking questions again. <laughs> Alright, next question. This will be the last one. Okay. I need to take a break and let my agony stabilize for a moment. <laughs> They're not as bad as I thought they enough, would Michael. be, honestly. Even I feel dirty after this. Ugh. Anyway, this last one is from someone called Magmos. Dear Almighty God Emperor of Mankind, if you wanted people to stop believing you are a god, why the heck did you run about warning gods uh... on the wheel of fiery sword, emit a glow pretty much all the time, and have other things of that nature? Seriously, man, you're kind of setting up some mixed signals there, you have to admit. <laughs> Look, just because I want to wear ornate gold armor, wield a fiery sword, emit a glow pretty much all the time, and other things of that nature doesn't mean I want to be looked upon as a god. Yeah! I'm not the one yeah. who needs to be told. Yeah! Yeah! I agree. I want to wear... Not that any of you said I was a god. I wouldn't say that, by the way. I want to wear my gold armor. I want to have my sword with flames on it. And I want to be glowing. But I don't want to be seen as a god. I could, I could see that. I could see that. I'm not saying he did it a good job, but... <laughs> so. <laughs> Talk not to dress like a god. You are the ones who need to be fucking taught that considering people to be gods dependent on how they look is wrong. Besides, my head designer thought all the flashy golden bits really brought out the color of my eyes. Yeah. I'm happy that I get See? Do, do, do my do all do my does my gold armor bring out my eyes? Wait, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in. Where's my? There it is. Okay, we're gonna click on you. Here, I'll zoom in. Does it bring out my eyes? <laughs> Why the heck did you run about all that golden armor, wield a fiery sword, emit a glow pretty much all the time, <laughs> and have other things of that nature? Seriously, it's man, cool. you're kind of setting up some mixed signals you have to admit. Look, just because I want to wear ornate gold armor, wield a fiery sword, emit a glow pretty much all the time, and other things of that nature doesn't mean I want to be looked upon as a god. I'm not the one who needs to be taught not to dress like a god. You are the ones who need to be fucking taught that considering people to be gods dependent on how they look is wrong. Besides, my head designer thought all the flashy golden bits really brought out the color of my eyes. I'm happy that I get the privilege of constantly being dressed like a golden arm without anyone having to look up at me like a god. <laughs> yes, people have got... I, I should have waited and reacted to that and be like, oh, good. Right, chat? I don't have to say anything. You're not calling me a god, right? Hmm. <laughs> some serious beef with a new man calling us gods and shit. Even though I am the only one who has the real rights to that claim. Additionally, I'm happy that you at least enjoy the privilege of wearing your fucking armor. <laughs> you and me, but, uh, well oiled ass. Well, my lord. I guess that wraps up this fun little event then. Yes. Perhaps we will read through some more questions at some other point <laughs> if I'm feeling incredibly masochistic. Now, if I may ask, could you possibly tell me the good aspects about the sun sound? You were just about to get onto that. Ah, uh, yes. Let me think. 